Okay, so now we've got this screen. Okay. So mm -hmm. again, ladies uh, and gentlemen, the first stuff you do, you fill out. You know, you fill out John Doe. Um, I got one, one, two. Um, Lady Lane. Okay, we'll do Columbus, Ohio. Four, three, two, one, zero, oh, or two, zero, oh, whatever. You fill in the um, name, email. Okay, everybody. Now, the next thing that you really want to focus on is the date of loss. Tell everybody what the date of loss is. Uh, so the date of loss is the date that the loss uh, happened to the property. Correct. So, so, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Yep. The insured will generally give you that date of loss. Okay. That's mm -hmm. important for the insurance companies because they want to make sure, one, the policy was active, right? Because first, uh, the insurance company, they're going to look for a way to, to maybe not pay the claim. So you always want to check that. Um, and then they're also going to make sure that you're um, that let's say you had a storm and somebody says, oh, uh, I had a storm February 12th. And then they go look at the storm reports. It hasn't been a storm in Arizona in six months. They're going to look at you funny. They're going to say, what yeah. storm was that? What storm was that? Right. <laughs> So you have the mm -hmm. date of loss, um, and then you put the date inspected, which is the day the field adjuster generally went out and actually inspected it, okay? Um, so now you have the coverage losses is going to be your next important area. Um, you'll put the claim number in at the top, the policy, the type of loss. Let's say it was a win claim because that's what we were working. And mm -hmm. you put in the policy dates. Again, we've got to make sure it's active. And then you put in the deductible. Casey, please explain how the deductible works. In regards to... Uh, so, the, so the deductible is not actually something...